Welcome back to the channel everybody, hopefully everybody's doing okay. I am on a different job today, makes a little bit of a change. What we're doing is we're converting an old gym into a shop. We've only got a couple of kitchen sinks, or oh, three kitchen sinks in this, a dock end pack, and yeah, a, one water heater. I'm currently up in a really awkward place, as, as plumbers normally are. I'm just draining down, let me spin the camera. I'm just draining down this unvented cylinder. Let me get a shot. Um, so yeah, it's really awkward up here to get to anything. Quite a few faults on this I've just spotted. Uh, obviously, discharge, incorrect material, shouldn't use speed fit. Um, unvented cylinder, uh, expansion vessel taken off the wrong side of the composite valve. There's a check valve inside there. So that expansion vessel's never done anything. Uh, no drain off on it as well, which don't really help me. This is just like a store ridge bit. There's all these iron pipes. That's for the sprinkler system. Uh, but we're not touching any of that. All we're doing is kitchen sinks. There's all sorts of gym equipment up here, like boxing gloves and all sorts. Um, but yeah, just getting this drain down for a start. Harry's already been and ripped a lot of the pipe work out downstairs. You see, it's super, super tricky to get up here, to be honest with you. There's all sorts of iron pipes and stuff. Um, yeah, so that's that's the first job, really. I'm going to get... Do you see how I've cut this cylinder into the floor as well, lot? I don't know, they've cut the cylinder into the floor because obviously it was hitting at the top. So I can't even really siphon it out very easily, but I'll sort that. Um, let, me, let me spin this around. So yeah, I'm, up, I'm just getting this drain down for a start. What we've got to do, they've already metal studded and ply lined and plasterboarded all the external walls and we need to get all our waste pipes across there. There is a void at about 350 mil. So I'm hoping to get a two inch waste pipe and there's some speed fit pipes across. I'll go downstairs and explain it all in a minute. Um, across, um, basically, I'm just gonna cut a panel and then crawl in behind. It's gonna be a little bit of a tight squeeze, but hopefully we can just get in there. Um, dock end pack should be fairly straightforward. There is one in already, but it's, a dock end pack should be 500 mil to the center of the toilet. This one's not, because the drain's in the wrong place. We're gonna line the wall out and get all the drain and everything set up for the dock end pack. And then we've just got a water heater and a couple of kitchen sinks. So we should get most of this first fixed today, hopefully. Uh, we're just doing it in speed fit, just, just for ease and speed, really. Um, so yeah, hopefully it should be a nice, nice easy day. Uh, worst bit I'll just be getting behind, but I'll show you that in a second. But nice to be on a different job for a change. I've got Harry with me as well. Um, the only awkward thing about this is you've got to park on the roof of the shopping centre and then walk all the way down. So <laughs> swings around about, but yeah, it's not a bad job. And, uh, yeah, I'll get this cylinder drained and then we'll get get some shots downstairs. What we're doing. I love looking around old abandoned shops and stuff like that. You can see all the old steel pipes. They're all for the sprinkler systems. Them steel ones, I believe. I don't normally get involved in stuff like that. I guess that big, is it six inch? That one going across there, that, I guess that's rainwater pipe or soils. As I say, there's a suspended ceiling going across the top, but they have got a lot coming out to all the sprinkler system. There's a big shut off valve. I say, I don't get involved in anything like that, but that shut off valve up there, I guess, is for the sprinkler system. So it'll have to come and alter all the steel pipe work to get it lower, I guess, or to get the sprinkler heads down. I'm not exactly sure how they do it all, but I don't know if they still thread it or whether they use like Viking couplings on it or or whatnot, but I love looking around. Uh, not not so much abandoned, is it? But you get what I mean, like at least they're repurposing it and using it for something. So yeah, it's quite interesting stuff, I always think. As I say, all we've got is a couple of sinks in these booths here, if you like, disabled toilet, and then one more sink through there. But yeah, it's always interesting, these sort of places. To be honest, I love doing jobs like this. I know it's I know it's dark, it's horrible, it's cold, it's damp, but I don't know, I love it, it's just my office. Um, it's sometimes difficult to get decent quality camera footage. Obviously my lighting's not the best, but we're not making a Hollywood film here. We're just sort of doing like a day in a life type thing. Hopefully you find it a little bit interesting and hopefully it helps somebody along the way. It just sort of goes to show how I set up dock end packs or first fix plumbing and bits like that really. It's just once you've done a few few of these, you sort of get into the swing of it, really. But I've sort of done a mixture of jobs sort of over the last 14 years since I've been plumbing. And you sort of just do a little bit of everything. And it just makes the days interesting. The last probably six weeks, I've just been, it's almost felt like I've just been like house bashing a little bit. And I just get a little bit bored of it. I've been working long hours as well. But yeah, just like a weight been lifted off my shoulders in the last couple of days. And yeah, hopefully... I'll be plumbing with a smile on my face again because that's what it's all about really. You've got to enjoy what you're doing. I do love my job, 
and I love doing interesting jobs like this. You know, to me, these are these are my perfect jobs, really. As I've already said, it's just it's cold, it's damp, it's horrible, but I love it. I don't know why. It's just just what I do. That's our incoming water. What we're actually going to do is line this wall out, so that will just be in an access panel. We'll have a dirt go up this side. This dock end get basically we'll install it to dock end regulations, and I've run through all that. Got water heater on that wall up there, and then I'll show you obviously basin there as per dock end pack, not over there. Um, but if we line that wall out, we can put stuff where we like really. This wall is being moved back anyway because that staircase is going, so we can make it 2.4 uh, as per the building regulations, and then yeah, it should be fairly straightforward in here. Then, so just we, all we need is hot cold around there, the discharge from the water heater will run down. That's the sprinkler system, they're moving that. Um, so yeah, it's fairly straightforward in here. We've just opened up a service hatch and this is where we've got to get hot, cold and a waste down. I think we've just got room to squeeze down here. We've got one sink just a little bit further along. We've got one sink just here, literally where my hand is. And then that toilet's the other side. So if we can squeeze down, if we could squeeze down here, it'll save us a lot of work. We'll just clip hot and cold along here and then just bring out a two inch waste one here i'm not sure what that is that might be a drain there but it might just be easier just to run it back into that soil pipe that's what i'm thinking anyway i think we've just got room without getting stuck to squeeze down here so that is just oh that is is that a steel that out? what is that is that a concrete wall we might have to go through here harry cut that off there and get our waste pipe through there because that I think that's, that's, that might be structural, that, I'm not sure. But we'll have a look anyway. So I've just removed that bit of plywood and this hole's already down there, so that should be straight into that saw pipe. So what I'll do is I'll clip a waste pipe along here. There'll be a T, T piece here somewhere going through to this. Harry's just drilling through all the surfaces. And then, as I say, we'll just clip along, clip along there. But we may as well use that hole, hole if we can. You can see the water. Can you see the water at the bottom? That's the earth cable for the water. So yeah, that makes life a little bit easier. Why do we always have to work in the dark? I don't know. I've just slid some waste pipe across there. Harry's just gone back to the van, which is on the roof, to get um, to get the arbor, to get the whole saw through. So we're going to just drill inch and a half through, and then we'll run two inch behind here. It's not massive runs, but we are, we're probably five meters, but two inch will feed these two kitchen sinks easy, and then it's straight into that stack. And then we have got another kitchen sink on the back side of that wall, uh, but that'll be on its own separate waste run anyway. So. All I'm going to do is 45 that back to the wall, T there somewhere, and then carry this along here with a nice fall all the way through. You can see, or you probably can't see, I've not got an awful lot of room to work. Can't even really get my drill in, but we can make the best of it. So this T, let me spin this around. This is life of a plumber, this is the real world. So that T is going to go on there like that. I'll use an elbow and then just take that straight, straight through that hole there that Harry's drilled. And then all I've got to do is get across to where that pipe there is sticking out. And then we're done. This is the awkward bit, really. First bit's all in. I've just run an inch and a half, just with a reducer off the two inch. This is just for a kitchen sink here, so that'll be fine. As you can see, we've got a good fall on that two inch all the way across. And then I've just got to finish connecting at that end. I've just got to squeeze down that side. And then that bit's all in. Right, so that's my hot cold and my waste bought through into the other side. I've clipped, clipped them in as well as I can. It was just a little bit awkward down that side, but they should be fine. I'm going to pop a little bit of lagging on these as well. I've just bought copper stubs out and then just a waste there. It's pretty, pretty standard. I don't like plastic, but some jobs it does make sense because it is awkward. You can see what I was working in, but not a lot of space there. But yeah, they should be fine. We'll have a look on the other side now. So that's them at the other end, just the same through there. So that should be all right. Easiest way of changing the bottom line. There you go, look. A lot easier to get to now. To be fair, they've stuck that pan in, so just smash them out. We just thought we just got to like, take the pan out so we can have a look at the drain. I brought my two inch through there. Harry's light's just gone off. My two inch is coming through there, so Harry's just run that inch and a half across there off the other sink, and then we just need to sort this drain out here. Right, I'm just setting out for this dock end pack. This wall is being studied out. Uh, 270 mil, so 270 mil. That's front of the wall. The pans on these are 750, which takes us to there. And then from the 
front of the, from the front of the pan to the edge of the basin you're between 140 and 160 mil and the top of the basin is 720 to 740 off the floor so we with with all that being said we need a hot and cold so here this will be a thermostat tap on this so we won't have to put a blender underneath so all we're going to do is stub hot and cold out here this wall's been studded off as well and then a waste pipe there so everything will be hidden in the box in and then we just have hot cold and a waste coming out there harry's just clipped hot cold around there we're going to stub them up uh hot cold out for the water heater so that'll just be plastic up and then we'll just bring some copper out and uh, we'll probably run a waste pipe up there as well to pick the unvented uh, to pick the water heater discharge just the pressure relief that's an interesting thing isn't it look at that thing that's the sprinkler that that's inch and a quarter iron with the sprinkler head not seen one done like that before that's old um, but yeah we just temporarily rigged up this toilet pan just to give us a little bit of better access um, through there so we're just going to get this one set out and then we'll deal with the waste in a second this is where the Milwaukee comes into its own when you're stripping pipe out stuff like that it just makes life so easy so I'm going to get all this copper ripped out up here for the Christmas uh, the Christmas dinner fund and yeah I can't believe that wrong side of that check valve that expansion but just goes to show just goes to show doesn't it it was only coming on 15 mil main anyway look they put a 22 gate valve look it was only 15 mil top side of that gate valve so yeah it's a mess well i can't even see where that goes it comes around there look and then up and then in and then across there the pipes everywhere up here look hopefully they're all dead I love looking through old stuff like this because you never know what you're going to find really. One man's trash, trash is another man's treasure. All sorts of stuff. So it'll all go in the skip anyway. And Christmas decorations. And I haven't found my fortune yet. Always interesting to see old plumbing really. What's that? It's an old. I say that's a, a cast rainwater pipe for a guest coming off the roof. I don't actually know what it is. But that would be my guess. There's a inch and a half waste pipe there just cut off, look. Is it just cut off? Yeah, it's just cut off. Open. I bet that discharge. Oh, there's another soil pipe there, look. Yeah. That that discharge look, ran into that soil pipe. Completely wrong, but that's how they did it. Harry. Yeah. Did it get you? No. No, I missed him. Oh, what a shame. That's my, that's my beer money. Let's get out of here. Milwaukee paying for itself. Oh. That, there is actually some beers in here, look. I'm a cowboy. This is what speed fit does to you, it turns you into a cowboy look. Do you like my new app? No, it's not, it's not speed fit. Speed fit's not cowboy, it's just some jobs you've got to do what you've got to do. It's only because they had a cowboy out there, I said it really. I just wanted to make it into a little bit of a joke. I do have some out of date beer though, if anybody wants to buy that off me, you're more than welcome to it. We've got some Bex, alcohol free, and I think it went out of date in 2020. Yeah, sixth. 2020 but I do have a box of that if anybody wants to buy that off me but the scrap is mine so I'm going to get this drain set up next in this corner and sort this water main out what we're going to have to do with this is we're a bit limited as to what we can do really they are boxing this all this off and we're going to put an access panel in but we need a double check valve this side of this main and a drain off uh, just to comply with water regs. There's not so much we can do about that water meter. It sort of is what it is. This drain here, what we're going to do is put a short bar socket, 45 that back over in that corner, and then put a Durgo up there just to pick the waste pipes up. The short bar socket will pick the waste pipes up, and then it's vented. It is actually vented. It is actually vented on that stack there anyway. So I don't know where that, to be honest, I don't know where that goes, whether it goes all the way to the roof of the... Uh, of the complex or not I'm not sure but this one here should be fine just on a Durgo I mean it wasn't even vented before but if we just put a Durgo on there and then they'll box that across that'll be fine so we've just got to pick these waste pipes here up we've got all the speed fitting I've just got to tie these 
into this corner. So we've got, I've labelled them up as they've come through. Uh, we've got hot and a cold coming through there. We just need to leave off a tee for the, the toilet straight off that mains and that should, should be fine. So we'll just pick them up and then I just need to run an inch and a quarter waste pipe, leave it there for the dock end pack for the basin. They are quite low because obviously these basins, when you sat on the toilet, you're supposed to be able to reach the basin. There is all measurements in the dock M uh, guidelines, so it, it's all laid out for you. I'll show you in a second on the phone, on my phone. But yeah, once you've done one, all your grab rails and everything, and they are gonna double ply all the walls so we can get fixed into the grab rails. So yeah, it should be fine. So we're just gonna, gonna get this drain done, and then we can start to get wrapped up. We have got to go around and cap off all these old drains as well. So we've just got some bungs for them. Because I think this used to be like showers and toilets. There was obviously another toilet there at some point. So, so yeah, that's that's what we're going to do next. I don't know how clearly this shows, but this is a dock end pack. This has got all your measurements on for where everything needs to go. So you can see your toilet needs to be 500 mil to the centre. Oh, that's typical, that isn't it? 500 mil to the centre of the uh, of the finished wall to the centre of your toilet, and then in front of that toilet. It's between 140 and 160 to the edge of the basin. Let me zoom in. Can I zoom in? Between 140 and 160 to the edge of your basin, and I'm sure your basins are 720 to 740 high. So it shows you where all the handles are and everything on there. But all we need to do is set the drains up so everything's, everything's hidden as it comes out of the wall. And obviously, we need that toilet. They're bringing that wall out uh, four inches. So we need four inches plus two layers of, plus two layers of ply. Plus, plus plasterboard. So we need that drain, like 5, 540, 535 off that wall uh, to the center of there. And then it, all that will get boxed in and that'll be set up for the dock end pack then. But yeah, just if you're not sure of your measurements, there's plenty of guidelines on Google. Just Google dock end pack and it brings up everything you need to know for your, for your sort of layouts. I know speed fit pipe isn't the best, but if you clip it well, it should be okay, to be honest with you. See, we've clipped all this in, we've gone like 250 centimeters all the way, so it should be rigid and it shouldn't flex. Right, so I need this drain setting up at about 645 off the wall, so that's about 640. That'll be about spot on. Because normally it'd be 500, we've got 100 mil plus two layers of this ply going on the wall and then plastic. So 640, 645 will be about right, about. Generally, it's about seven, seven and a quarter. So that should be perfect to take our dock end, dock end toilet. So that that'll be that'll all be boarded off, and then we'll just have that spigot and a piece of pipe going into the back of the pan. That'll be perfect. So all the first fixed waste are in now. Um, it's a little bit difficult to get sort of actual shots of me doing it because the, the lighting is so terrible in here. I'm just using my Makita Makita um, thingy light. Um, 18 volt one, but yeah, they're all running, they should be sound. Uh, as I say, all these plastic pipes are clipped, so when they board that off, they're going to double ply that and then we'll just connect up to the tap. It will be a thermostat tap on there, but yeah. Other than that, I've just got to finish this dergo off and then we've just got to run in that main, connect these mains with these tails. As I say, we'll pop a double check that. So we need to double check the valve drain off, uh, as pulled water eggs. And then that, that should be fine. So this, this there go, he's set it up above the level. So you can get class one dergos that can go below the level level. But generally I find it's just better to put them above. I think class ones you can put outside as well. So what we'll add, and the reason I 45 it is just to get it away from the system because we don't want to hit, hit the saw part when we screw the system back. So we'll probably put that just above a metre. If you imagine the highest point on this one is probably going to be the um, kitchen sinks because the basin is lower in this in the washer for the disabled toilet, they are a little bit lower. So if we put it at a metre, 1200, something like that. It's all being boxed in above anyway. So that'd be fine. And we'll just pop a couple of clips on there and that saw pipe's all ran in there. It's actually a push fit doing that one. Normally they're solving well, aren't they? Have you started making push fit? I don't know, I've never seen a push fit one before on poly pipe. They've always been solvent, but to be honest, push fit might be better because if you ever want to work on that dergo, you can pull it off. So it might be something that they've actually something that they've actually changed and improved. I'm just using these McAlpine blanks just to blank these um, soil pipes off. So that just pushes into a pipe end. What I might need to do is just multi saw that down just below the surface and then that will just push in and that's a proper seal on that drain. I've seen it before where people have put insulation and then sand and cement, that's okay, but you don't want anything dropping down your drain. So if that 
insulation drop down your drain or anything, you could block it. So we'll just push that in, that's a proper cap for that drain and that's sort of all you can do. Obviously you wouldn't go chopping the whole floor up and taking it back. To be honest, it probably runs into that one and then out of the building for a guess. I mean, I, I don't know, but yeah, we'll just, we'll just cap that there and that'd be perfect. I'm even putting a tap in for the plaster as not. Don't know how to look after the other trades. I'm actually going to end the video there because we've got a P2 to go to, which is like a priority call out. It's a, I don't know what it is yet. It sounds like a block drain, which will be fun. The lighting is terrible. Blame the lightning department for that one. That's, we'll blame the electricians again. Um, so if the camera's a bit blurry, it's because it's pitch black in here. Um, so yeah, I'll end the video there. This job's about first fixed anyway. We've actually just got the water on as well. If it's tested, it's all speed fit. So it should be right. We've clipped it well. We'll be back, obviously, when they've, when they've plastered, got the kitchens and that in. We've just got the water to do the dock end pack. And yeah, uh, and put in a couple of kitchen sinks. So we've probably got a day left here. Uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this one, make sure you hit the like button. If you didn't hit the dislike, and we'll see you next week.